All right, so I got here probably a little after six. So I've been here for about 40 minutes, maybe, waiting for this storm to pass. Kind of just stuck in the truck, going through social media, listening to some tunes. You know, I'm glad I waited out because at first, when I first got here, it was just a little green speck, and then it turned in, it turned into a pretty gnarly looking storm so but it's small so hopefully this is the tail end of it and I'll be able to get on the water but while we're sitting here I'm gonna take the chance to do the intro so thanks for coming back this is Ruben with Texas all water fishing I'm sorry for the audio and the shakiness because I'm doing this on my phone but I want to welcome everybody back I came out today to do a little fishing out here the tide is extremely high still um, believe we had a new moon last night if not we have a new moon tonight but those fishing forecasts, those fishing um, forecasts are always extremely high. They're typically up in the 90s. So I think this one was about 93 today, this morning. I plan on throwing all artificial, so everybody just wish me luck. And hopefully you'll catch me hooking up as soon as the rain stops. But thanks for coming back. Oh, come on, little guy. He choked it. He did. Nice little speckle trout. Should see if we be close, maybe. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, Ruben, what are you doing? He's going to be at 15 and a quarter. He did choke that lure, though. Yeah, so we were able to get it out, so I'm going to let him swim off. Let him swim off to live another day. Come on, little guy. All right. I hate when they do that. It always makes me nervous and scared. I never want to hurt a fish, you know? All right, anywho, there's a nice little rainbow over there. I'm really surprised when he hit it, he, um... I actually kind of dug in a little bit. I thought it was a, I thought it was a flounder. I'm surprised it was a nice little trout. Just over 15, almost 15 and a quarter. Let's go back over there and see if we can find another one. Another, another, another one. Got another speckled trout. There we go. Ah, looks a little bigger, a little thicker at least. I don't know about lengthwise. So last time I was out, I was throwing this uh, same lure and I he caught a nice red on it. This time I'm out and then throwing it and it's uh, catching trout. So that's what we say. If you don't, you never fish with chicken, boy. It's definitely a great, great lure. And I'm not. I don't get nothing for saying that. I've just fished with him for years. Those right there. Oh, gonna be cookie cutter size, aren't you? Oh no, he is short. He is 13 and three quarters. I thought you were a little bigger than that. You're just making bigger splashes, huh? Your mouth looks bigger. Yeah, so I'll let you go. So basically, what I'm doing is um, right now where I'm at, it's almost five feet. So over there, it's probably gonna be like maybe two, maybe three feet. So I'm just bouncing it, bouncing it, bouncing it. And you have this dirty water line right here, and you have a clear line. And right on the shore, there's a little bit of a dirty water too. So a lot of times the predator fish like to hang out in that dirty water, and they'll ambush bait as bait comes by. So that's kind of what the area I'm targeting right here is just trying to fish in between the dirty and clean water. So that's where I've got those last couple hits, or those last couple couple trout so 
whatever you see, whatever is going on, try to use it for your advantage. Well, oh, there's somebody right there. I think I scared some mullet. So I don't know if the GoPro picks it up, but you can definitely see the difference right there in that line between dirty and clean. See right now, I just cast to the grass in the dirty water, coming into the cleaner, cleaner water. And let's see if we can pick up a trout. Just popping it, letting it fall, popping it back up, letting it fall. There he goes. Somebody just hit it. There we go. Oh no. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't keep it. He hit it, but spit it out. Yeah. I see. Tugged on it. I keep seeing flashes. So we have the sun coming in from this side right here. There we go. There we go. That might be a better one. It looks like it. Maybe. Hopefully. Getting closer. Bring him up. Oh yeah, that's a better one. Ooh, that's a better one. Oh, he jumped right into the net. Oh my god. Look at that guy. Nice big trout. Chicken boy. Right there. He's going to be 17 and a quarter. Almost 17 and a half inch speckled trout. Yeah, look at that one. That is a nice fish. A little bit of rainbow in the background. Nice girthy guy. I'll let you go. <laughs> He's just gonna hang on to my kayak for a minute. <laughs> All right, we got rainbows and we got a storm. And this storm's gonna rain for about 40 minutes. I typically, would try to ride it out and hit back over there, but uh, I don't think so. Uh, unfortunately, I gotta go into it to get back to the car. So I'm gonna go into it, and this gonna get real heavy. In about 20 minutes, so I'm gonna be soaking trying to get into the truck. So, hopefully, it won't be too bad here in a minute. <laughs> Man, the things we go through to try to fish, huh? We will put ourselves through the ringer for sure. All right, round two, we're back in the car again. Um, did go out, did fish for, well, y'all saw. Y'all saw what happened and uh, had a herp and run back. It looks on the radar that we're just on the cuff, the edge of the storm, and it's going um, northeast. So hopefully we can, uh, hopefully we'll keep going that direction. And this little bit of rain that we have right now, it's supposed to stop in about 15 minutes. So keep your fingers crossed. I hope I can get back out there on the water so I can be able to put a, uh, a great video on. <laughs> the rain is never ending. It is it doesn't want to leave me alone. Please go away. Rain rain go away. Come again. On Saturday. You know and I hadn't fished this area that much at the time. Fished it a handful of times so oh man <laughs> I must have thrown it right on him. Make sure this hook is set. Oh, there we go. Uh, I got whatever was uh, chasing, chasing bait over here. It was like a maybe about 16 inch red, maybe. So probably wasn't what made me that big chase, that big, that big bait run. But nice red, nevertheless. Very nice red to be catching on this, on this rod. It's always a good fight, you know. A 1000 series reel and an ultralight rod. It is a great time. It is a great time to be catching little reds. <sighs> You're pretty. A couple spots on that side. See spot on that side. That's that chicken boy over again. Yeah, but he's going to come in at. Okay. 18, 18 inches. It's about what I thought. Yeah, so I think this is gonna do it for me. You know, we just can't get out of this weather. Another storm just kind of come through. It's pretty red. It's pretty heavy rain. Wind. 
you know, you start getting that red radar stuff, and you uh, you start running the risk of lightning. So I know earlier I saw I did see some lightning out there. So this is probably gonna take about an hour to pass through. So I think I'm gonna call it. You know, a lot of fish out here still, a lot of potential. We'll see. Maybe I'll relaunch the gallows and try to get back to the landing. But hey, oh yeah, I just heard thunder. But hey, you know, Ruben, Funk so Brother, Texas All Water Fishing, trying to bring it to you, trying to give you a good show. But, you know, Mother Nature's queen, I'm just a pawn. If you like the contents, contents in general. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment below, share with your friends, share on social media. We deeply appreciate all the love and support that everybody's given the channel so far. I deeply appreciate it. Hopefully next time y'all catch me cooking up instead of getting drenched. But thanks. More rain coming. Ah!